Hey guys, Harry Thomas here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Harry Awards 2024 and uh, this year's Harry Awards will be a slightly longer one than most as uh, well uh, we uh, has uh, some of the uh, most uh, uh, significant short movies last year in recent memory like uh, I even got to make a short movie myself which you will so kindly uh, gave me feedback on and uh, so kindly reviewed a moose on the loose and I am proud of that movie and pleased with how it turned out even if it wasn't uh, the, the most perfect short movie in the world but these three short movies uh, particularly uh, grabbed uh, me uh, so without further ado here are the three nominees for best short Once Upon a Studio The Rat Catcher, Poison, Interval, Question Time. And the Harry Award 2024 for Best Short goes to Once Upon a Studio. <laughs> yeah, so sorry, I uh, forgot to mention I have five nominees, uh, not three. Yeah, my mistake. But I just had to award a Once Upon a Studio uh, uh, best of shorts, so even if uh, Interval uh, certainly was a close runner-up. As Once Upon a Studio released in October last year around my birthday time, it felt like a, uh, well, particularly special birthday gift as well as Taylor Swift the era's tours. Everybody universally agrees this is the superior celebration of Disney's 100th anniversary, yes, uh, even above Wish. And Doug Walker even said in Disney December, he wished that Wish, uh, get it, uh, was uh, more like Once Upon a Studio with a combination of all the classic characters from Walt Disney Animation Studios. I can see why this short, uh, it perfectly blends uh, uh, the timeless 2D animation and gets all the original voice actors back, which is exactly what us Disney fans want. It's, no need for unnecessary recasts, and it, it's also a beautiful homage to uh, the uh, the original Walt Disney uh, style of filmmaking. When uh, Walt himself uh, would uh, make Alice in Wonderland shorts and put a live action uh, child actress in an animated background. And the most uh, moving moment in this short is uh, Mickey uh, looking at the portrait of a Walt. I mean, that was literally Mickey saying thank you, Walt, uh, uh, for, for everything. And uh, to uh, just see every single Disney character pop out of their uh, paintings at the studio and uh, and perform when you wish upon a star, uh, it's... Uh, you're just like, uh, wow, this makes uh, you proud uh, to, to be a uh, fat fan of Disney. And uh, e even uh, Kerchak from Tarzan is in the background in the short, even though he died in the finale of Tarzan. So you will see Disney cameos that you really do don't expect. And, and even they even brought Jeremy Irons back to briefly voice Scar. Yes, the fans have been waiting for Jeremy Irons to return to as Scara for nearly 30 years after the original Lion King, and this has to be the uh, single greatest uh, short movie in cinema history since uh, uh, Steamboat Willie. It's uh, a huge mistake not to play the shorts uh, before Wish are on the big screen. It is too perfect for just Disney Plus. So yeah, I am proud to call Once Upon a Studio the uh, best short of the Harry Awards 2024. So hugest congrats to uh, Disney uh, for uh, winning uh, uh, for Once Upon a Studio, and uh, and uh, and I uh, would love to see them do a, a short similar to this for their 200th anniversary in like uh, 2,123. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for uh, part uh, eight uh, of the Harry Awards, the 2024 most disappointing and worst picture. I'll see you all then.